John Kelly will be leaving, but I don't know if I can say retiring, but he's a great guy. Uh, John Kelly will be leaving uh, at the end of the year. We'll be announcing who will be taking John's place. It might be on an interim basis. I'll be announcing that over the next day or two, but John will be leaving at the end of the year. He's been with me almost two years now, as you know, between the two positions. So uh, we're probably going to see him in a little while. But John Kelly, ready? Are you ready? So John Kelly will be leaving toward the end of the year, at the end of the year. And I appreciate his service very much. John Kelly had been asked to stay on as chief of staff through 2020. Now it appears he's going to be leaving before the end of the year. As you recall, when he first came in, he was replacing Reince Priebus, uh, who many within the administration felt was too lax on the president and didn't do enough to try to rein in who was seeing the president and when. There was sort of an open door to the Oval Office, and many felt that that contributed to what was perceived as chaos within uh, the White House. When Chief of, Staley, uh, Chief of Staff Kelly came in, he installed new rules about who could see the president and when. He tried to tamp down on leaks by preventing staffers from taking their cell phones into certain parts of the White House. They would have to leave them uh, at lockers and so forth. But ultimately, Kelly faced a number of controversies uh, himself with comments that he made about uh, people enrolled in DACA, uh, as well as uh, the controversial phone call that the president had with uh, the family of Sergeant David Thompson. Uh, recall that he passed away in Niger and there was a dispute between his family and the president over specifically what was said. And ultimately, uh, John Kelly tried to defend the president. That got him in hot water as well. Over time, what we've seen is essentially a reversion to that sort of chaos that we saw early on in the administration. Yeah.